What's up, Roll Runners? Good stewards, friends, and family. It's your boy, C Dub, aka Critwick, coming at you guys with another video. This video is very, very particular because it comes with some anticipation and some excitement. What do I mean? Well, a lot of you all may know from seeing my previous videos, and if not, check them out, check them out up there, um, that your boy is a chapter two uh, ambassador, and I have my frame, AKA Joy. Um, you also know that I got the wheel set for said bike from my sponsor, Spinergy. And so, of course, with the bike build, there are a few things that are needed to complete the build. Well, we got another part, a complete portion of this next piece that I need for the ultimate build for Joy. So sit back, relax, and enjoy more from your boy, c Dub, AKA Critwick. Peace. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, roll runners, good stewards. So as you see, I have received um, everything for this next portion of the parts and pieces um, for the build for my chapter two tier eight, AKA Joy. And of course, I want to share that with you. So of course, what you're gonna see is me getting all the parts and pieces together. And then the last video of this series will be, you know, the build, and then it'll be the unveiling of the full complete bike called Joy. But what I have behind me is the box. So let's get that box. Here it is right here. And so yes, I have already opened it because I had to and uh, I wanted to see some of the parts and pieces, but today I received the final piece of this portion, if that makes any sense. But um, I wanna give you all some history before I get into the uh, unboxing of today's video. So of course, if you all saw or have even um, heard of Dede Elementi, um, it is an Italian brand started by two brothers, um, Luca and Stefano. Um, I'm gonna pretty much say that Dede Elementi, um, or Elementi, excuse me, was started, founded, began in the 90s. 1992, I seen on one website. 1998, I seen on another website. But ultimately, it was it was a branch off of uh, Colombo or Colombia, yeah, Colombo, the Colombo Group. And the Colombo Group was very, very known for Italian steel. They were the known company to provide the masses, provide the market for steel. They were the Walmart, if you we could say that, the Target of steel tubing in Italy and possibly around the world. And um, yeah, so there was a branching off from the Colombo Group and these people, including Luca and Stefano, started Data Elementi. And so Della Elementi has a different, you know, a few different facets of their company. They have Data ICI, they have Data Illumini, and then they also have another portion of their company, which I can't remember the full name, but of course it's got Data in there. But Data ICI is their steel frames. Um, that's where they built the frame sets, et cetera, et cetera. Again, they broke off from Col the Colombo Group, and that's what they really specialized in. Then Data went into Data Illumini, uh, or Elementi, excuse me, um, and they started doing uh, cockpits, you know, uh, handlebars and stems. And then they have the third tier, which is there was, it was their focus on uh, tires and wheel sets. And so, and I can't remember what that name is right now, so please forgive me for that. But the reason why I said all that is because in my Upgrade 2 video, when I was upgrading Serenity, um, and that video was doing very, really, really well. So check that video out up there. That is the upgrade number two. I put on the Super Zero cockpit from Data Elementi. And so since I've been riding the Data Elementi, I've really enjoyed it. Um, I don't see a lot of people riding it. And so one thing, if you all haven't learned about me, as I do like to have my own flair, I like to have my own 
you know, my own swag, you know what I'm saying? So I like to do things a little bit different from everybody else. So, you know, I could have went with, a, you know, an Envy stem. I could have went with Envy handlebars. I could have went with, you know, FSA. I could have went with a, a plethora of other companies, but I want to be loyal to Data Elementi. And again, they're out of Italy, um, started by Luca and Stefano. And so I really, really like um, what they came out here with in 2020. Um, and so I'm really excited to share that with you. Um, if you saw my upgrade number two video, I went with the aluminum uh, Super Zero bars. They also have a carbon fiber version, but I went with the aluminum bars and the aluminum stem. And I really like their stem because their stem is kind of like, it's like a triangle. It's kind of like this versus it being a square or a circle um, or oval. So I really went with them. And because again, me being a Clydesdale over 100 plus kilos, I wanted to have that rigidity that stiffness, that quick response when it comes down to sprinting. So when I knew I was going to be uh, looking at getting a new bike, I immediately knew what brand of cockpit I wanted to go with. And so today's unboxing, today's unveiling is the cockpit that I have chosen from, of course, none other than Dede Elementi. And another thing I like about Dede Elementi is that it means personality. And this is all found on their website that Dede Elementi means personality. It means it's about a point of view, having a point of view. And it's also about having a peculiar state of mind. And I really, really like that. And I was looking through Instagram one day and there was a post from Ride Data on Instagram. And I was drooling. I fell in love. I, I, I had to have it. And so I'm super excited to share with you all what I have finally got all the parts and pieces for, the cockpit, the my 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 data elementi cockpit for joy. And I'm so excited to share that with you. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from the smallest to the largest. Let's do that. So we're gonna go from the smallest part and piece to the largest part and piece for the sake of this video. All right, so interesting thing about this, the, the, what I, the boxes I have down here is there's three boxes with four parts and pieces in them. And I, most of my shopping had to come from like Germany, had to come from Italy, had to come from pretty much overseas because there is not a lot of stores in America selling this cockpit. And I am super excited because again, I am able to be unique. I'm able to have my own personality, a new and, per, a new and creative point of view and uh, a fresh state of mind. Did y'all see what I did right there? You probably picked up on it. But anyway, here's the first box. Let's get right into it. So you see there, there's two things in there right there. And so what's the first thing, the smallest, is going to be coming out of this box and as you see right there it says the headset series it says headset data elementi uh headset and so let's get right into it all right so with this peculiar um cockpit that i got with this 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 peculiar excuse me can't talk with this peculiar cockpit that i ha i have received um, it gives me the option for fully internal cable routing. And so I'm really excited about that. I may not be able to go fully internal, but I like having that option. I do like options. So of course I went with it anyway, but this is the headset. And so I'm going to open this right now. And that's the headset right there. So as you see on it, it has, this is the, the top of the headset and it says Dede, Dede, Dede Elementi right there on there. And then again, some different parts and pieces. It says it there again, not gonna bore you. Again, it's just a headset. So the top bearing, the bottom bearing, the part that sits right on top of the front fork. So that's the headset that is required with this particular cockpit from Data 
elementy. So that's that. Let's cover this back up. All right. Ooh, right? Yeah, I know that's kind of simple, but you know, that's the small part of this. The second part, as you see again, it's not open, but yet again, it's from Data Elementi, and it is the accessory spare part, and this is the VCN mount. And I will explain to you why particularly I had to have this specific mount. So let's go ahead and open that up. So it has, um, if you can see in there, it has two little screws. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it has two little screws on the inside of the bag. I'm gonna leave those in there because I would hate to lose those screws. But um, here is the mount. Feels like really strong. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's plastic, but it has uh, a GoPro mount on the bottom and it's also garment and Wahoo compatible and you just, uh, make some minor adjustments on the inside of here, um, depending on if you use if you're a Wahooligan or if you are a Garminite. So uh, I'm a Garminite, so everything is good to go. But again, those two screws that are in the bottom of the bag go here. This will att attach to the bottom of the stem, and then that will be the setup right there. So again, very awesome that uh, Data Illumini actually had this part, the VCM mount um, for the cockpit that your boy is putting on joy so again that's the that's the um manufacturer's specific and required uh garmin mount wahoo mount gopro mount so excited to have that and have that part and piece out the way so we're getting a little bit bigger let's get to box number two all right so this is this was the last piece and it arose, arrived a arose. It arrived today. And it's funny because I literally ordered this piece, this parcel, like right before my birthday, which was July 18th, and it got here today. And today is August the 4th. And the biggest portion of this order. So disrespectful a few moments later all right so we can get back to it now that that uh dump truck man is gone all right so let's get this box open all right here you go you ready You couldn't see anything. Got some paper. No way. No way. I look. I done watched Duncan McNutt's videos. I've watched Mark Frost's videos. I have watched uh, Jason Dorsett's videos, and I have first finally got my first package with hardbows. So I am super excited to have hardbows. That's amazing, and I actually like hardbows. So anyway. Back to the point, all right? Nice big box, I like it. And then of course, some uh, documentation and stuff like that in the box, so cool. All right, so again, from Dede, Dada Elementi, what did your boy get? So what this is, their brand new 2020 cockpit it's called the Vinci DNA, and I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. Hey, I almost forgot. Check this video out.
So let me show you. So if you look at the letters that way, that says DNA. But if I turn the box around, it says Vinci for Leonardo da Vinci. Um, and this is amazing. This stem is 120 millimeter stem. So let's bring it out right now. Oh my gosh, this is nice. Check it, check it out. Woo, woo. Check it out. Gosh, that is gorgeous. We got some, I don't know what this is in here. Oh, it's the top cap. So inside of here, there's something in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but this right here, is the top cap that goes right there. I like how they put that in there so that you don't lose it. Um, but yeah, ooh, God, that's nice. So again, it says DNA that way. It says Vinci that way. You see here on the side, it says data. Again, it says data. And this is an aluminum stem. It's, it's, it's got some weight on it. And it says, you know, gives us some instructions here. It says no gap right there because the top is supposed to be closed down. The gap will be left on the bottom. And so again, this is a fully cable integrated system. So if you want to run the cables all the way in, meaning that there's no cables from the brakes going down through the, from the shifters and the brakes going down through the bike with the um, Data Elementi Vinci setup cockpit, you can do that. And so again, at the bottom, it says right there, 120 millimeters. That is my fit size. And this is a 73 degree. So you see the angle of that stem. So kind of aggressive, but that's okay. All right, so let's see what else is in. So that's the stem. That the, and this is beautiful. They got the Data Elementi logo on the front. Very, very beautiful. And you see, of course, the two holes. Those two holes go with those two holes go with that right there so that's how that's going to look when it's all said and done so those two holes the screws will hold that in garmin gopro so forth and so on so that looks now i see why the angle is so steep right there that's going to be gorgeous i mean it's going to be beautiful and it sits in there just marvelously so line those holes up and you see it sits in there really really good you see that looks really really good oh my goodness that's beautiful all right so let's see what else is inside the box and so of course i've been looking at pictures i've been looking at um I'll open up from the bottom i've been looking at you know product manuals and everything and i already know it comes with some additional stuff and what this is right here, this is actually for the stack. So all the stuff that you saw, the first package that I opened for the headset, what these parts and pieces are, these parts and pieces actually allow for the internal, the fully internal routing. <laughs> so as you see here, there's a lot of part and pieces. Again, this is a very similar piece that you saw on the um, headset, another similar piece for the headset. But all these pieces right here allow for um, the, the wires to run in this area right here as it goes down the uh, head tube, down into the bike, whether it's the front fork or down towards the bottom bracket so that you can get down to the uh, front derailleur and rear derailleur as well as the shifter. And again, Joy is set up to be uh, my first disc brake bike. So I'm really excited about that as well but these are all the spacers that will be used <clears throat> pretty much underneath and it'll kind of look like this if i can do this really fast and these all kind of just um connect together so it'll be something like that when it's all said and done so really clean, really clean design. Um, so everything will be able to run. It's gonna run through the handlebars, down through the stem, then down into the head tube, and then it can go into the bike from there. 
But again, depending on um, if my mechanic is able to do that or if we're able to figure it out, we will go according to that. All right, so that's the stem. All right, now we're to the biggest part of this unboxing, this second piece of the pie for Joy's Ultimate Build, and I'm gonna get straight to it. It is, <laughs> you already guessed it. It is the Data Elementi Vinci DNA, DNA Vinci. It is the handlebar, and I got the 440 or the 44. Um, and here we go. And with Data Elementi, they are known for what's called RHM, which stands for rapid hand movement, meaning that going from here to here is shallow so that you can adjust your hands from here to here to here and back here without it being an extremely long drop. So let's get this right open. And pretty much I had opened the box, but I didn't take off any packaging because I wanted to share the experience with you all. All right. And you see there we got the little wires for the, uh, I don't wanna mess those up, but all right. So here it is. So again, if you look at the handlebar that way, it says DNA. If you look at it this way, it says Vinci. So let's get a run through of it really quickly. So there's the top of the handlebars. Really beautiful. I love the gloss and the matte finish. On the sides, of course, it has RHM, um, Data Vinci, RHM for rapid hand movement. It's got your nomenclature for where the max place you can put your hoods, your shifters, same on the right side as well as on the left. All right. And then what the handlebars also came with are these two little brackets right here. And what that does is, is because Data Elementi has their own TT bars that can actually fit here. So the, um, the stem that you all saw will literally sit and close this gap up fully. So there will be no space in between here once that stem, it'll sit in there just like that. Really, really nice. But again, you won't see the full rendition until the bike is being built. But just to show you how this is the fully um, integrated system is they actually have a hole right there, which allows for again, and then they have the holes. Here's the cables where you can actually route your cables from the shifters through. So you have option one where the cable will go in here, come out here for bikes that are not compatible with fully integrated or you could go in here, go in the holes here, or the holes right here, and right there, keep the wires inside the handlebars, then they will go into the stem, through this hole, into the stem, and then as I showed you on the stem, it will then go down into the bike frame. But that is the Data Elementi <clears throat> Vinci handlebars, and it is gorgeous i really 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 i'm not even sure if you guys can see hopefully the sun is hitting that to where you can really see how this is going to be this is matte and this is glossy black but it's all blacked out um except for in the area of the vinci um there's just some white streaks white or gray streaks right there in vinci and that really gives it a nice accent so looking at this from the top that's going to look really really good with those uh with that setup for joy. So that's everything for the second portion. There's one more big purchase I have to make for joy and that is the Ultegra uh, DI2 group set. Um, and we're saving right now for that. So in the near future, that video will be coming. But again, if you guys have any comments, please leave them down below. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please, Hit that subscriber button down below. Set the notification button so when I post any videos, you guys will see it. Um, and stay tuned for the next premiere. 
it premieres if you guys want to donate any money or do any um fast or, or or expedient chats or super chats i believe it was what they call them you guys can contribute to the crit with cycling vlog as well through that option i want to thank each and every one of you for your time i thank you for your subscriptions we actually as of today just went over 1600 subscribers so i thank you again for all of your love all of your support on to the next one with your boy c-dub aka crit wit peace